Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I did uh, a video update, so uh, I'm going to try to do this one as quickly as possible, so I'm just going to get started. Alright, this is going to be a horror DVD update. Alright, so first up, we have the Blob remake. Um, I've wanted this one for a while. I'd also like to get uh, my hands on the, um, the Son of Blob sequel, too, that Larry Hagman did back in the uh, early 70s. That was always such a weird movie. Um, I'm excited to have this one, though. I've wanted the remake for some time. I used to own this on VHS. But I was looking at it, and I noticed that this was um, a TriStar, Columbia TriStar release. And a lot of their um, horror movies they've been releasing through Twilight Time lately, like uh, Night of the Living Dead, Fright Night, and Christine. And I really hate it when they do that, because um, Twilight Time has been uh, short printing all their stuff, as you know, like 3,000 units and are selling out way too quickly, and, um, and the prices are being jacked up on uh, eBay through uh, when they do their reselling. But uh, hopefully, um, you know, if this ever does get a release, they'll be released just regular, you know, through uh, Sony and not uh, through Twilight Time. But, um, you know, I'm still happy to, to have this edition. I didn't pay much money for it. I picked it up used. I passed on it uh, a couple times, and then I didn't see it around anymore, so happy to have it. <coughs> okay, next up we have Dark Waters. Um, I used to own this movie before under a different title. It was a budget release and it was called uh, Dead Waters. That's out of print, and this release uh, is also out of print. And this is the uh, was released through No Shame Video uh, or No Shame Films. But um, this film kind of plays like a like one of the supernatural Dario Argento movies or a Fulci type movie. And it's cool in that respect. I guess this was filmed in Russia. Um, it's okay. It's one of those slow burn type movies, like an evil nun type of thing where this uh, this girl's father had just died. And uh, has, has something to do with the will where he was paying money to these nuns and she goes to this, you know, church to find out why they're paying money when there's something evil in the church. Um, I, I, it's an okay movie, you know. I'm happy to have it just because it's out of print. Didn't see it around, you know, in a bit. You know, I always felt kind of bad for getting rid of my old copy of this movie. There's the inside. There's actually stuff in the, under this black, but it's so damn dark, it's not going to show up uh, on the camera. And there is a a double disc edition of this as well that came out around the same time this one did that um, came with like a prop from the movie which is this artifact right here that the woman's holding but uh, I must be going for like a fair bit now right. next step we have Dolls and this is um, a Stuart Gordon movie this one actually he did right after he did uh, Reanimator and From Beyond for Empire Pictures um, I remember watching this one a fair bit back in the day. Um, this, out of the three movies he made for Empire Pictures, this was probably uh, my least favorite of the three. I mean, like, his Reanimator and From Beyond are, were pretty cool. This one was a little more on the kiddie side for me, but I still liked it, you know. Like, I love the imagery of the doll and the eyes and stuff like that. Another weird thing about this release, um, this is an MGM release, is that um, when on the menu, for the movie, it has an image that's similar to this, but in the upper uh, left-hand corner, there's another image behind it of a woman strapped to a chair and like I think a couple of priests, and it has nothing to do with this movie. It's like a possession movie or something. It's like it might be even Italian or something. Like I have no idea how that image got stuck in with uh, the image from Dolls. You know, it must have been some kind of mistake or something. Um, if anyone knows anything about this, just let me know. Or give me a message. All right. Next, we have H.G. Uh, Wells' The Food of the Gods. Uh, this is like a giant rat movie. I've been meaning to get my hands on the sequel. I kind of like that one more than this one, but this was one I used to watch on TV all the time back in the old days. It used to be part of uh, what was called then the 3 o'clock movie. Um, usually they would show usually like genre movies and Godzilla movies at 3 o'clock on local channel 7 in our area. But the thing about that was um, the 3 o'clock movie was only like an hour and a half slot, and that's with commercials. 
I remember I used to record movies off TV and, and then edit the commercials out. So I remember I did that once, and uh, the average length of a movie in that slot was an hour and six minutes. And this movie is um, an hour and a half, or 88 minutes to be exact. So uh, I need to watch this one again because I guess there's probably like a whole bunch of stuff that I missed out on this. And hopefully I can get my hands on the sequel too. And I think I know where I can get one. All right. <coughs> Next step, we have uh, Dimension Extreme release, and this is King of the Hill, and this is a Spanish movie, and it's actually really good. It's so weird with the Dimension releases because um, they released so many decent movies, and they did it with very little or no fanfare. So, so I took a chance on this. I actually found this at a Dollarama for two dollars, and um. So if any, I know there's a couple people that actually live in Ontario. So um, next time you're dollar in, go check it out and see if they have it. Because I was in Windsor where I found this. And then I went to Huntsville to another Dollarama and they had a, a copy of this as well. So I think there's a really good chance that if, that the, you can probably still um, find this on uh, for sale for two bucks at Dollarama. Um, okay, now the, the plot of this movie is just kind of, it's kind of simple, but it's really cool. Basically this guy has like a... Um, a bathroom tryst with this girl that he meets at a gas station and when they're done he realizes that she's stolen his wallet and all his money and stuff so he chases after her and they end up getting stranded and then they ended up being hunted by um, three hunters it's kind of like a dangerous game type of story uh, the cool thing about this movie that I really liked is that the, the main the main star the main guy in this movie is, is a weasel and normally you don't get that in these kind of movies. Normally the guy ends up being like this big hero that fights off the bad guys and stuff. But this one is like a kind of like a whiny bitch. And the girl was actually more heroic. And I, I actually enjoyed that one, that aspect of this movie a fair bit. Um, so that's all I gotta say about that. I won't get into uh, the identity of the hunters because that's I thought was kind of cool as well. All right, on to my last pickup. And this is uh, Necromentia. Um, this one is kind of like a Hellraiser type movie. I, um, I, I found out about this movie through uh, the Horror Happy Arrow. I, I, was, I used to like to watch a lot of the reviews when they were doing them. Hopefully they'll get back to doing them. Cause I haven't seen one in a while. And they brought this movie up. This one's kind of like a Hellraiser type movie. Where um, I think this tattoo leads to like a gateway to hell or something like that. And this guy's trying to save his girlfriend or something. I remember I was trying to watch this on cable and I actually fell asleep on it, so I'm going to have to watch this one again. And the story, I think, also takes place out of sequence, so that really makes things confusing. Well, when you're half asleep, anyways. But I'm happy to have this one now. I didn't think I was ever going to find this movie. Um, I did find a copy of this originally at Family Video, but they wouldn't sell it to me. But now I kind of wish they did, because I found this one at Game Cycle, but this is the Canadian release, and it looks like that there's a. Uh, no special features on this release. Like, it, my look on this little bottom thing here, I, it doesn't really show anything in terms of special features. I probably should pop it in and see if it actually shows anything. But usually, if it doesn't show anything, it usually isn't anything. All right, guys. So this is my update. Um, I'm gonna try to get in the habit of watching some more and more movies, so I can um, talk about them more when I do these things. I got some other pickups that I have to get around to watching before I'll review them. But, uh, well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.